We are live and I'm just trying to see if you guys can hear me clearly. I'm pretty sure you can see me clearly, but if you can hear and see me clearly, if you can just um, hit the thumbs up button, the like button on this video, no, that does not mean put it in the comment section. It means just hit the like button so I know that you can hear and see me clearly. Hey, Kenny. Hey, Rebecca. How are you? Do me a favor. If you can um, see me, hear me, hit the thumbs up button under this video. I've got a really cool video for all of you. Hang on. And also, um, while well, Facebook gathers an audience, because I didn't post this anywhere, I'm not one of those people that post right before I go on. Um, if you can just tell me where you're tuning in from in the comment section under this video, that would be awesome. I hope I don't have tomatoes in my teeth I've been eating, which is not good. So let me see. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, good. You can hear me. All right, good. My um, computer is like playing weird tricks on me right now. Okay, so I've got a really cool uh, recipe I'm going to make for all of you. I'm going to read a card first because I did draw a card for our overall energy. And we got the regeneration card. So I think a lot of um, people may be going through rebirths. Regeneration is new beginnings or starts to, you know, things that already existed. But I'm just going to read part of the card for you. Rebirth, second chances, new opportunities. Second chances are available to you now. Whatever opportunities you thought were dead are now revived in a more authentic, stronger form. Whatever you may have perceived as a failure or loss is now being replaced by something better and more powerful, growing in its place. This rebirth is, assur is assured. Step into your new life. Destiny is being fulfilled in wondrous ways. The world is based on connections and relationships. No matter what loss has occurred in the past or even now, death and endings are only illusions. There is life after death, love after loss. And in this moment, you are radiating the regenerative life force energy that makes you irresistible to love. I hope so, because I'm really tired. Um... And I don't have the energy to like, you know, go hang out. Okay, to love in all forms. Now is the time when you will see evidence of this new emergence. Can you feel it? Love is rising up to greet you. Okay, let's just, let's all light a candle for that. Okay, I'm going to show you the card and then I'm going to get into what I'm making for all of you. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up button. So I love this. So it's, it's like a tree is rebuilding itself out of like a volcano the ashes of a volcano so you know some of you might have new beginnings some of you might be resurrecting something from the past and i think that is just awesome okay so this was actually highly requested on another youtube video i did on andrea cox tv on youtube a lot of people were chiming in and asking how to raise testosterone naturally without um, without, uh, you know, drugs or anything like that. So cholesterol or chole uh, high testosterone is a product of cholesterol, B vitamins, and zinc. So I'll tell you the ways you can kill your testosterone, and then we're going to make an awesome quick meal with all testosterone-boosting foods. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up, you guys, as you come on here. And definitely keep commenting where you're tuning in from. I love that. So what I've got here, um, because, you know, it takes B vitamins, it takes zinc, and it takes a, a, a raised cholesterol of healthy, good cholesterol. I have all foods that are rich in B vitamins, rich in zinc, and boost healthy cholesterol. So one of the easiest ways, hang on one sec, let me... Do this real quick okay one of the easiest ways to boost cholesterol is with avocados 
Avocados have healthy omega-6 fat. It's a great way to boost your, your um, cholesterol and therefore uh, uh, using it as like a, a precursor to testosterone. There are herbs you can take um, to boost your testosterone, but I really don't like them, especially for women. You know, women have testosterone too, just like men have estrogen. Men just have a lower amount of estrogen. Women have a lower amount of testosterone. Um, to take a natural testosterone booster really affects the mood. It can cause men to be angry. It can cause women to be bitchy. It's just not a good thing. I've taken natural testosterone boosters before, and it's really, really affected my mood. So I prefer to use food. Let me let Roger out one sec. Hang on. So I prefer to use food to boost my testosterone levels. That way, you know, you're boosting them naturally. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Herbert. Okay, so some of the foods that boost, uh, uh, you know, your testosterone levels. Coconuts. Um, I prefer the old uh, coconuts. These are the young Thai. I really don't prefer the young Thai. I don't trust that they're not dipped in formaldehyde first. You know, they used to do that. They claim they don't anymore, but who can you really trust? They're being shipped over. I've seen too many videos on that. But coconuts, not necessarily the coconut water, but the coconut meat. So if you're going to just eat coconut oil and think you're boosting your healthy cholesterol, no. You want to eat the actual meat of the coconut, not the coconut oil. Um, oils, especially for women, because we as women want to boost our testosterone too. I don't need to boost my testosterone. My testosterone is up there. Um, I know because my libido is up there. And when your libido is, is good, then you know your testosterone is good. But I stay away from oils, overt fats, because they're really not conducive of um, keeping your waistline thin and really having a smooth um, backside, you know, no dimples and things like that. Um, okay. So moving on, nuts, specifically uh, nuts that are rich in zinc. Um, Brazil nuts are excellent, and I've got pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are the best seed that a man can eat. Pumpkin seeds are extremely healthy for men. Um, these are really, really delicious. You can make dressings out of these. You can make all kinds of stuff. Um, out of a base of like water and pumpkin seeds and maybe stick one Brazil nut in there, blend it, and it, it, it makes a really um, healthy salad dressing, a little lemon juice. Okay, um, another food is garlic. Now, I do buy just the Christopher Ranch peeled garlic because I don't like to smell like garlic and peel my own. So garlic is, um, it lowers cortisol levels in the body. So whenever cortisol levels are raised, our estrogen dips down, or our, our, our good estrogen and our testosterone lower themselves. So you want to make sure that, you know, you um, put in garlic into some of your meals. Now, there's a difference between raw garlic and cooked garlic. Once you cook garlic, I've been on a, a raw diet um, again for the second time for a few months now. Uh, I did raw vegan for nine and a half years, wouldn't even have tea, and now I'm back to just completely raw vegan. And it really is serving me energetically. Um, but you want to make sure you use raw garlic in your meals. Okay, the next food is dark leafy greens. Now, um, the two of choice would be, I've got kale. doesn't matter if you use laconado, which is flat leaf kale or curly kale and uh, dandelion greens. Dandelion greens are excellent. They're also a liver detoxifier, and because our liver has a lot to do with where our hormones are manufactured, manufactured, it's good to um, eat liver cleansing foods, bile stimulating foods, such as dandelion greens. All right, let's get this party started. I'm gonna like just make a super easy Super simple salad. I might make a dressing, but I don't want to get the Vitamix out, but I might. I don't know. I might. And I'm just going to go with the flow. Because when we go with the flow, 
our body just naturally kind of like is drawn to the foods we need in that moment. So these have already been washed. Yeah, you're hearing Roger barking at someone. I've got the windows open because it is hot. So I want to use the stems and all with the dandelion greens, okay? You want to definitely use the stems. Let me wash my hands real quick. Also going to grab some tomatoes. So you want to use, oops, you want to use the stems when you use the dandelion greens. You guys, I'm so tired. So tired. And then I'm just going to use like this much kale. But with the kale, I'm going to save the stems because I don't want to eat stems. And kale stems are a little hard to digest. And I'm going to juice them in my morning juice tomorrow. Made a delicious orange juice just from fresh oranges today. It was so good. So that's not enough greens for me. I like to fill a bowl with greens, and usually I'll have like two big bowls when it comes to my salad meal. Why? Because dark leafy greens, they, they aid in methylation, they aid in, you know, boosting testosterone levels, um, boosting the good estrogens. Another food that is excellent to boost testosterone and lower your um, bad estrogens is broccoli and cauliflower. So cruciferous vegetables are really good at getting rid of exogenous hormones. So uh, the bad hormones that are caused by things like cleaning, um, using cleaning chemicals and putting, you know, toxic, you know, bullshit on our skin, you know, cosmetics that have chemicals in them, things like that. So that's another really good tip. So I'm gonna use just a little raw corn. It's non-GMO, organic, um, from a local farmer here. And I'm just gonna shave the raw corn down in the salad, like so. I think I will make a dressing. If you guys hit the like button enough, I'll make a dressing. <laughs> Hitting the like button increases the algorithm connection because Facebook is sharing like none of our stuff. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I have going on here thus far, right after I shave this whole thing down. And you guys, it's good to eat raw, especially during the summertime because it's hot out. And like to cook food just kind of defeats the purpose, you know, it defeats, um, it defeats the purpose of, you know, just having vibrant amounts of energy. So, you know, we're eating colors here. This is beautiful. I've got corn, kale, and dandelion greens. I'm going to take, these tomatoes are so incredibly good. Oh my God. I mentioned them, was it last week or the week before? And they were like sold out at Jimbo's, so I'm not even, well, I get them at Jimbo's. And they are local tomatoes from a local farm. Jimbo buys everything locally and organic. And I love these. Okay, let me, yum. Okay. So, you know, we're getting the colors in, we're getting it's like vibrant, you know, you are what you eat, you want to eat like this, you don't want to eat bullshit, right? We're, we're doing a good thing here. I'm going to grab, excuse me, excuse me. Guys, I'm trying to use less paper towels. I once saw a family that used no paper towels and I was like dead set on stopping being wasteful using paper towels, and I stuck with it for about a week. I was so impressed. It was honestly the most impressive like thing I've ever seen as far as like conservation. I'm like, paper towels? How can you live with that paper towels? Oh my God. Okay, so we've got corn, we've got maters, because I'm from Ohio, so we've got maters, and we've got kale, and we have dandelion greens. Oh, thank you, Christopher. Gosh, that's such a nice comment. Breathtaking. Wow. Well, if you if this was smell vision I wouldn't be so breathtaking because that's some. Um, yeah, I need a shower. But okay, so 
What we're going to do is, you know what, you guys, let's just make a dressing. I'm going to move, no, I'm not going to move the Vitamix. I'm going to do the smart thing and bring the Vitamix over here, and then I'm going to go over there to blend it, and that way I don't have to move stuff. Okay, so I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to grab some nutritional yeast, which I think I'm out of. Okay, please don't make me be, oh, sorry, wrong okay. thing. Please don't make me be out of nutritional yeast. I'm almost out of nutritional yeast. Um, I'm just going to kind of put the nutritional yeast right here, like so, because I love it, and it makes everything taste really cheesy, and it's raw, and it's full of B vitamins, full of zinc, so this is excellent to boost testosterone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a little bit of water, like just enough to like put a little bit of water in here. I'm going to take a little, very little amount of apple cider vinegar. I always like to look to see where the mother is. The mother is really healthy for you. Okay. And what should we do, you guys? God, it would be funny if I, if I let you watch me open a coconut. Where's my coconut opener? It's somewhere around here. You know what? I'm just going to put some coconut meat in there. Yeah, why don't I? No, no, I'm not. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take one Brazil nut, two, two Brazil nuts, and we're going to take some pumpkin seeds. Some good like that. We're going to take a raw garlic clove. Oh, I forgot to mention another great testosterone booster is maca. And I like Health Force Nutritionals maca. I knew Jameis Sheridan when he was alive personally. He was a wonderful man, and his wife now runs that. So I'm going to do three raw garlic cloves. Obviously, I don't have anyone coming over because I would not do three raw garlic cloves. But I'm doing three raw garlic cloves tonight. Okay, so I'm going to put the lid on, and I'm going to – oh, let me do a lemon. little – you know what? For the acid – Oh, I did the apple cider vinegar. Okay, I'm gonna blend. Hang on. Hang on. guys is take it out and depending on how you want your dressing if you want it like really thick you can use that I actually don't like really super thick dressing so I'm going to use a little more apple cider vinegar and I'm just going to kind of pour it down like the side so it gets some of it off the side like so so this is really good if you want to boost your testosterone you know we've got Brazil nuts we've got pumpkin seeds we've got garlic raw intense. We've got nutritional yeast full of B vitamins and zinc. We have dandelion greens. We have kale, dark leafy greens, excellent to boost testosterone. Um, we've got avocado. I'm going to throw a little avocado on here. So we've got all, which raises healthy cholesterol and boosts testosterone. You want healthy cholesterol. These doctors giving you cholesterol drugs are, are FOS. They're full of shit. I mean, if your cholesterol is through the roof and you you know you can't see your feet when you look down, yeah, you might need a little help. But you know, to the average like 45, 55 year old man that goes into his doctor and is handed a statin drug, you know, a cholesterol lowering drug, it's all big pharma connected doctor bullshit. Trust me, I know stuff. Okay, hang on, hang on. Okay. 
Okay. Mm. Oh, good. So good. Okay. So basically, I'm going to spoon this out because it's still super thick. I'm going to go over this recipe one more time. So this is a testosterone boosting, uh, exdrogonous hormone lowering salad with a salad dressing, 100% raw, 100% vegan. Took me what, 12 minutes? Um, gluten free, of course, because I don't even know what gluten is at this point because I wouldn't have it in my house. Okay, so what I have, I have maters, I have nutritional yeast because of the B vitamins and the zinc. I have dark leafy greens, testosterone booster, uh, kale and dandelion greens. I have in the dressing, I have apple cider vinegar. I have raw garlic because raw garlic inhibits cortisol, so it lowers things for all the thumbs up, you guys. It lowers um, uh, your exogenous hormones. I have Brazil nuts because Brazil nuts are full of zinc, also selenium, excellent for your hair, skin, and nails. And I also have pumpkin seeds, which are extremely high in zinc, great testosterone booster. Salad, I've got corn and all the stuff I mentioned. Oh, and I'm going to add a little avocado. Happy, happy dance. I'm going to. Okay, so I'm going to add a little avocado. Guys, perfect, perfect, because I do, I do perfect stuff, I mean, what can I say, perfect, okay, all right, yum, okay, so I put a little avocado, I spoon this out, I have no idea where I put my spoon, so I'm going to grab another one. My kitchen is, oh, the spoon is in there. My kitchen is clean all week until Tuesday. Until Tuesday. And then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kind of like layer this like so. I'm just gonna like layer. I'm just gonna like, yum. And you know, there's more in there. So I'm gonna empty the whole thing on this. And you know, did I measure? Oh God, no, no. Because when you eat vegan, when you eat raw, you don't need to measure. You don't need to, none of that's gonna go anywhere that it shouldn't, okay? And um, you know, no matter how old you are too, it doesn't matter. I'm not 20, I'm not 30, I'm not 35, I'm not even 37. And we'll just leave it right there. Okay, look. Okay, you know this is going on Instagram, Raw Chef Andrea. Thanks so much for being here, you guys, for Tasty Tuesdays. I'm super grateful for all of you. Um, I'm going to post a link to my two websites and my two YouTube channels in the description box below this video. I'm going to do that like within a half an hour. I am so grateful that so many of you have subscribed to the new YouTube channel. We're headed towards a thousand subscribers on the new YouTube channel and on the health and detox uh, channel, 17,000 subscribers. So thank you. So I'll put those links. Please go subscribe to those channels. Also check out the website sites, plural, sign up for my newsletter on andreacox.com and I'll see you tomorrow at 3.30 over there. I'm gonna break out the cards and do a really, really good reading for you. Yay, raw, vegan, delicious. I I'm gonna eat some dark chocolate afterwards and call it a day. Easy, simple, not a lot of stuff in it. Hey, Neil Salisbury. Neil is a chef for like famous people. But Neil, Neil, he kills dead animals. But he's on my feed right now, so I mean, I can say that right? We don't need to kill the dead animals, Neil, to feed people. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go post this on uh, Instagram. We're all Chef Andrea over there. I greatly appreciate you guys being here. Have a beautiful day. Bye. <laughs>